What I have here is a Kubota B7100D. Uh, it's somewhere around a mid 80s model. Tractor here that I lost oil pressure on. My oil gauge was on at idle, rev it up, and it would uh, come off of the oil light. And I hooked up a gauge and I had very, very little oil pressure. And so the typical um, oil galley plug that had come out, I'd found uh, on a service bulletin where you basically weld in the new plug. And so I didn't actually buy the plug, I just took a quarter inch steel rod and ground a taper on it, tapped it down in there and then welded the welded it on there. And so that's it. Pretty much to get to the front of the case, there's several bolts you take out all the way around. You've got a spring here and a spring here that you have to remove off the cover. Your water pump is here and it has to be removed first because you can't get that bolt out unless the water pump is off. This bolt right here on the water pump is very difficult to get to. Um, I was able to come in with a wrench from this direction, but it was a very slow process to get that off. And so that's pretty much it. I've got the cover replay or the cover off. I got it all cleaned up. Got the gaskets, um, gaskets and radiator hoses at the Kubota dealer were about sixty-two dollars. And so I am going to reassemble this, and hopefully I have oil pressure again. And I will check back in a few minutes once I get that done. Okay, one more quick point on welding in the camshaft. They do recommend removing the camshaft, um, which is a good idea. I did decided not to do that. If you happen to take your welding clamp and clamp it off to the frame or the engine someplace, and you tried to weld, the spark will jump across the bearing surface and will potentially and highly likely damage your bearings. What I did is I clamped my clamp directly on to the sprocket so the only arc should go between the gear and the camshaft uh, right here which wouldn't have any issues with uh, bearing surfaces. So as long as you get your clamp here right around this area and not on the engine to jump across your bearing surfaces you should be fine. But it is recommended to remove the camshaft. I wanted to give you a quick update. Uh, yesterday I replaced the um, oil plug in the end of the camshaft on this B7100 and I got it running last night did about an hour worth of rush hogging and everything seemed to be working alright so here it is running and you can see my oil pressure at idle about 50 psi right now uh, before I did this it was the highest you could get about 6 PSI full RPM. So there it is. I think that was the solution to the oiling problem.